subtraction with mixed number. So, 5, 2 over 3, and 3, and 1. So, what are we going to do with this problem? Sabi ko sa inyo, mixed number. When we say mixed number, there is a whole number. And as you can see, they are having dissimilar denominator. So, LCD. LCD. So, what are we going to do? If it is easy for you for skip counting, then proceed for skip counting. Or you can do the second tip, which is 3 times 4 gives 12. Okay? So, the LCD is 12 or least common denominator is. So, we are going to use the 12 as the denominator. Then we are going our LCD is 12. So 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Times 2 is 12. Divided by 4 is 3. Times 1 is 3. Okay. So let's proceed. 8 minus 3 is 5. We're just going to copy the denominator because they are now the same. How about the whole number? As easy as 5 minus. So 5 minus 3 is. So the answer is 2 and 5 over 12. Question 5 over 12. The simplest form or the lowest. 5 over 12. So the answer is 2. Over. Okay, another example is that 5, 7, over 9, minus 3, 2, over In this problem, they are again having, they are again having the similar denominator. So this time, what are we going to do? Are we going to use LCD? Oh, it is up to you. If you like to use LCD, then keep counting. Okay. So, but there are times that you can also use the tip that I gave you. 9 and 3. 9 times 3 is 27. Or, we can use 9 itself because this is already the least common factor. So, let's use 9 as the denominator. So, let's use 9 as the denominator. Then, we are going to proceed with the So, 9 divided by 9 is 1 times or multiplied by 7, that's 7. 9 divided by 9 is 1 multiplied by 7, it's 7. 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 2, it's 6. Okay, so they are now, observe, ah, observe, they are now heavy, they say, Denominator, copy it again if they are having the same denominator and then proceed with the numerator. 7 minus 6 is 1. How about the whole number? 5 minus 3 is 2. So the answer is 2 and 1 over 9. So 5, 7 over 9, 
minus 3, 2 over 3, it's 2 and 1 over 3. This is a renaming. Renaming the fraction first. Uh, we rename if uh, the minuin is full number and the subtrahend is a mixed number. Right? 20 minus 8 or over 8. So what are we going to do with this? So as you can see, the mean width is full number and the subtrahend is a mixed number. So with this problem, we are going to rename the full number. So, how are we going to rename the whole number? It's 19. For the shortcut, let's use the denominator. Copy the denominator and the numerator because if the numerator and the denominator is the same, it is 1. So, 8 over 8 is 1 plus 19 is 20. So, that's how are we going to rename it. And then, subtract 4 over. They are now having the same denominator. It's 8 and 8. So, we are just going to copy it again. 8 minus 4 is 4. And then, 19 minus 8 is 11. Oops. Look at the fraction or part. What is the GCF of 4 and 8? It's 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So the answer is 11 and 1 half. That is the answer. 20 minus 8 and 4 over 8. Okay, how about if the problem is 70 minus 6 and 4 over 7. So again, we are going to rename it because the mean wind is full number. The subtrahend is a mixed number. So rename 17 first. Okay. So this will become 16. Technique Copy the denominator 7. Use also 7 as the numerator. Minus 6. 4 over 7. Answer. They are now having the same denominator. So let's copy the denominator. 7 minus The answer is 10 and 3 over 7. How about if we encounter problem which uh, the subtrahend is in improper fraction? For example, 23 minus 11 and 9 over 6. So how are we going to solve this problem? proper fraction. Um, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So, in this case, we are going to divide it first. So, 9 divided by 6. Okay, 9 divided by 6 is 1. The whole number because it is the motion. And 
then we are going to use the remainder three as the numerator and we are going to use the divisor six as the denominator. Okay? So we are now having a mixed number. So we are going to add one from the subtrahend. It's 11 plus 1 is 12. And then, we are going to use the fraction or 3 over 6. Now, 3 over 6. So, it is now in the mixed number. So, how about 23? Let's rename 23. So, 23 will become 22 copy 6. The denominator 6. And also use it as numerator to make it 1. They are now having the same denominator. So, let's answer. I'm just going to copy it so they are having the same denominator so copy how about the numerator proceed to the numerator it's 6 minus 3 it's 3 22 minus 12 it's 10 but look at the fraction it is not yet in the lowest term so Divide it with the GCF. 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the answer is 10 and 1. So 23 minus 11 and 9 over 6 is 10 and 1. Okay? So that's all for today. I hope you learned from this uh, episode I hope you learned from this blog I hope you like it I hope you will share it I hope you will subscribe and I hope you will click the button and you will be updated so thank you everyone thank you for watching goodbye Hi, I just want to remind you that there will be a live teaching with prices so please watch our previous episodes because questions will come from those videos. So halika na at matuto. See you then. Bye!